Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Ant Pruitt. Hope you're doing well. I am unbelievable as always. And I want to do my little review of the Loop Deck Plus editing console. Now, this time last year, you would say the Loop Deck Lightroom editing console. That's not the case this time. This device has been upgraded and updated with some much nicer firmware and software and some more capabilities. In my previous video, I discussed that I didn't necessarily think the device was worth it. I wanted to give the second iteration of this device a shot because they were so kind enough to send it to me and it's only fair. First of all, the device is approximately the same size as the previous version, which is roughly about 13 inches or so. So that's a little bit smaller than a standard keyboard minus a 10 keypad. It's not, it doesn't really feel cheap, even though it's plastic, it feels a little bit better than the previous version from what I can remember. The buttons feel a lot better on it. Uh, they're, they're a little more tactile to the touch. You really feel like you're clicking on like an old mechanical keyboard at times. And I, I really dig that. The knobs feel pretty good on this device. They are not necessarily smooth scrolling, so they have a little bit of click to them. It's not annoying and it, it's still fairly intuitive when it comes to using it with the software that you'll be working with. I don't like the fact that the little scroll wheels are a little bit loud. You scroll through and you hear the little wheels clicking. And it's a little louder than the other parts on this on this device, but I can get over that because most of the time I'm editing with headphones on anyway. The new design of this loop deck includes a few extra buttons on here uh, designed to make things a little bit faster when you're editing inside of Lightroom. But the software has updated to have functionality with Lightroom as well as Aurora HDR and Capture One. Last year, this was strictly for Lightroom. I think this is a big upgrade. In addition to having capabilities with those other photo editors, what got my attention was the ability to edit video inside of Premiere Pro. I was still a little bit skeptical about it, even though it got my attention because I'm someone that relies heavily on keyboard shortcuts to make editing video a lot faster. Fortunately, the Loop Deck allows me to navigate through video editing with my keyboard shortcuts as it already has standard keys designated for some of those keyboard shortcuts that you're used to. The good thing about it is these keys are in a nice spot, so it doesn't feel too much different from a standard keyboard. What I love the most about this integration with Premiere Pro is the color grading. Because you have these analog knobs on it, it really makes the color grading process a lot cleaner and a lot smoother because you can really dive in and dial in to making your footage look a little bit better by adjusting the different colors, whether it's uh, the highlights, midtones, and saturation or things of that nature, or just your basic uh, lumetri panel. I do like the fact that you do not have to click on your Lumetri panel inside of Premiere Pro. As soon as you turn, say, the exposure knob, it's going to adjust the exposure. As soon as you turn the contrast and so forth, it's pretty nice. Like the previous Loop Deck, the Loop Deck Plus allows you to add additional customized buttons by clicking on a function key. But not only do you have a function key, you also have a custom mode button that gives you even more functionality. So this allows you to add a couple more buttons or knobs to do different things that you would like to use regularly within your workflow. Although the default settings inside of Premiere Pro really work well for me. I think I added maybe one custom button to speed up the workflow, but overall it works really, really well. You can get the Loop Deck for $249 online at their store, or better yet, use my affiliate links below in the description of this, of this video. I think this is a pretty good value for this device where last year I did not think this way at all. Having the additional software integration to go with Lightroom, I think that really ups the ante and gives you a lot more use cases out of this device instead of it just being a Lightroom editing console. But that's it. Check out the Loop Deck. Head on over to loopdeck.com or just check the links at the bottom of this video. I appreciate you folks watching. If you have any questions or comments about the Loop Deck, feel free to leave me a comment below. 
and I'll be more than happy to answer. Have yourselves a good day. Get out there and create and dominate.